Welcome back, everybody. It's good to see you again. Here we are with Skunk Hour by Robert Lowell. And if you'll remember, it's from his landmark book, Life Studies, which was the start of confessional poetry. Here's my copy. Look at that. That's, that's back when books were $2.45, not $2.50. Oh, but I don't want to mark this one up, of course. So here we go with uh, the text of the poem. I've gotten a little bit of a head start. As you can see, I've done some grouping with the stanzas. I've done some highlighting as well. If we take a look here, right, got these boxed off. Now, good place to begin with any poem, of course, is the title, Skunk Hour, right? So what does skunk suggest, right? Yeah, we, we all know what that suggests, right? It's a bad smell, right? This is an animal that everyone tries to avoid. No one, oh, cute little skunk, let me go pet it. No, no, we don't do that. And then, of course, skunks only come out at night, right? So that's what we get from the title. Very interesting. Taking a look here in these first two settings, what do we see? Her, 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 her. Hmm, isn't that interesting? What we see here in this first stanza is the idea of A, matri a matriarchal, excuse me, a matriarchal image that we're introduced to by the author, right? We have all this, and as well, we have, right, hierarchic, this idea of privilege, right, and being old-fashioned as well, Queen Victoria's century, Right. We also have the idea of a selectman, which would be like a, a, a council councilman up in New England. So we have this matriarchal image, and at the same time, we have isolation. Where can we see isolation? Right. Well, we have an island. We have a hermit. We have a cottage, right? Privacy. And we have the idea of decay, right? She buys up all the eyesores facing her shore, and lets them fall. So here we have a, a wealthy old woman who could do something, right, in her community. But she, but, you know, if you buy up all the eyesores, all the old buildings, and you could, you know, redo them, you know, make, make your town better, but she just leaves everything and just lets it fall. Okay, then... We move into the, the next box. So we started with this matriarchal image. And now what do we have? We had her, her, her. Now we have our, right? So we're moving from that and we're moving to society. And it's still at night, right? So because that's only when foxes come out, right? We don't see foxes nor skunks in the daytime. We just see them at night. And so this is, now we're starting to see what's going on, right? Looking at the town, looking at 
the community, the society, and what's up with the society? The season's what? Ill. We've lost our summer millionaire, right? His, his yacht, his y'all, it was auctioned off. What do we see here? Continuing images of loss and decay, right? And then how does this section end up? It's more isolation. We see again, right? There's no money, no success. So how are you going to live? Well, you'll just have to get married. Then, boom. And this third section, these two stanzas, here we figure out what's been going on. Robert Lowell, right, is in his what? His car. How does he describe his car, his Ford? Tudor. Of course, there's no maker model of a Tudor form. Tudor Ford, excuse me. But the Tudors, that's an old family. So here again, we have this idea of, you know, this matriarchal linking it to Robert Lowell, right? of the idea of hierarchy of years gone by. And now, so here we have the poet. How do we know that? Look at the pronouns. The, the pronouns change again. And what is Robert Lowell doing? He's out here creeping around, right? And here we get this idea of a voyeur. Robert Lowell's out there driving around. He goes to the part of town where everybody parks and makes out. But notice, right, not lovers, but love cars. Look how depersonal this is. We're not looking at the, the couples who are kissing and making out and making love in their cars, they're just love cars, right? Hull to hull. Oh, wow, look at that. We're not even paying attention to the idea that there's people, but just the cars where the graveyard shelves on the town, right? Oh, wow. What a, what a contradiction here of this part of town where everybody goes to park and just, you know, graveyard shelves. Then we have the admission here of the speaker. My mind's not right. Oh, exactly. We get to hear some music coming out from one of the cars, right? Then I hear my ill spirit sob in each blood cell as if my hand were at its throat. Ooh, I myself am hell. Oh, that is just despair. What do we see here, right? We see in all of these stanzas, these first three stanzas, crisis, right? Crisis and the, this, Eras, we see crisis here in society. What do we see here? We see crisis with the speaker. And now when we get to this last section, what will we see? Resolution to the crisis. And we'll tackle that in the next lecture.